Hi guys, welcome back to Will the Beard Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Mighty Morphin issue and number three written by Ryan Perot with art by Marco Renna. And no, we still don't find out the true identity of the new Green Ranger in this issue. It's getting a little frustrating, to be honest. I think this, the prevailing theory is still that it is Matt, but we have yet to have confirmation of that. that but that is not to say that this issue does not have tons of fun stuff in it, as has been the case for the first three issues or the previous two issues of this series at the beginning of this one we get a flashback to over 10,000 years ago when we see uh, when uh, Zordon was actually a guardian of El Tower running around the universe doing that there's something interesting in this one that we're going to have to uh, talk about and then from there we go back to the present day where the chaos putties are wreaking havoc on Angel Grove and actually take over and mind control Adam for a brief moment uh, and then from there we uh, Aisha finds out that Billy has betrayed the team. So lots of good stuff to dive into in this one. Let's go ahead and jump into the pages. Before we do, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you enjoy this video and other stuff we do here, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. It would absolutely mean a lot to me. Now, you'll see the other two issues here. Um, I pulled those out because I needed to go back and take a look at something. Let's get in. We'll get to those here in a minute. Let's go back here and look at... Um, Let's check out issue three um, that came out this past week first. Um, we're on the planet Bivix uh, over at 10,000 years ago. Again, doing our flashback thing here where we have Zartus and Zordon kind of doing some undercover work, just walking through uh, this marketplace. They are these two characters here basically in disguise meant to work their way into the local population. And Zordon is apparently worried about his... Um, his appearance undercover keeps asking if he looks okay, and then Zardus says, you look fine. In fact, you look very handsome, and he asks, too handsome, and Zardus jokes with me, says, uh, or he says, just breathe. Everyone gets nervous on uh, on their first supervision, and then makes a joke down here with him about maybe his antenna are missing or, or something like that. So uh, it's cool to see them on a mission, kind of doing an undercover thing. We actually find out um, over here, I believe it says... Um, uh, Zardus says that that's why I enjoy these days before we reveal ourselves. Witnessing a world before it becomes complicated is a blessing. So to me, it seems like the Guardians are going out there and kind of seeding them themselves in these cultures that don't know, maybe don't know anything about life beyond their own planet or, or something like that and kind of trying to get into them, understand the culture before they reveal themselves and say, hey, you're part of a bigger galaxy see there's life other than on this planet and we are the guardians of Eltar. we're going to protect you or or something uh to that effect uh one other thing i noticed here i think he's zardis here is saying um my father oversaw a hundred worlds during his time as a guardian and my grandfather even more to that and he says um that's quite a legacy to love, live up to they will be displeased if i don't achieve the rank of a supreme guardian at traveling across a galaxy carrying the banner of peace and justice for all those in need so that's what confused me a little bit. Uh, I had to go back to um, issues one and two here um, just to see these three characters right here. And when we first saw uh, the Guardians, these three right here, we have Zordon and then Zofram is this one in the, the gold. Let me get that on and frame for you. So we got Zordon in the bronze, Zofram in the gold, and then Zardus in the silver. And Zofram is the one that is made a supreme guardian um, in issue two. Too many... Uh, just blue skin characters that all have a Z name. I got confused. I was like, wait a minute. Didn't one of these characters get promoted to Supreme Guardian uh, in the previous issue? So I had to look back and uh, confirm uh, that there wasn't a, a mistake there. Uh, one other thing that I definitely want to point out here. Um, that's what I was talking about a little bit at the beginning. Uh, Zordon's just talking about his family, uh, kind of juxtaposed to uh, Zardis's family. He says, all this place does is make me miss. realize how much I miss Eltar, the smell in the air, the taste of the water, the feel of the sun, there's nothing like it. My fa my family are farmers on the East Peninsula, and they believe very strongly that everyone has an obligation to serve society. In their eyes, becoming a guardian always uh, or pays my debt. So when my time is done, I want nothing more than to return to Eltar, start a family, and work the land until my days. And then Zardis says, that's disappointing. I was looking forward to uh, you following me into battle for years to come. And I don't know about you, but I'm kind of getting a relationship vibe off of them 
instead of just um, you know uh, partners in uh, that being guardians or war buddies or or something like that. So I, I don't know if that's just me. Maybe you guys le- uh, kind of read that a little bit in that scene too. Let, you'll have to let me know uh, in the comments down below. All right, from there we go back to uh, the fight where we have our rangers fighting the green uh, chaos uh, putties, which are absolutely badass. I love uh, these new putty designs. Rocky asks the important question, do I have to worry about who I'm punching here? And then Adam over here uh, follows it up and says, I really hope your uh, putty's turning into people and not the other way around. So yeah, hopefully these are uh, just straight putties. They aren't people that have been turned into putties. And I love this from... uh, Kim right here, she says, I'm just going to shoot a bunch of defensive arrows to keep these things from touching me. Yeah, defensive arrows. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. So uh, over here, we have Zordon calling into the Prime Chaos Putty saying, uh, take him, he'll do nicely. And that's when the Prime Putty takes over. Um, Adam grabs him by the head and we see him get taken over here. Uh, in, the, in the next page, but before we do, we see the uh, new Green Ranger basically getting his ass, his or her ass beat, and then that's when Billy says, "Hey, you need to get out of here. You need to go have some, you know, psycho or you have some techno babble uh, done to you." He tells the uh, the Green Ranger, he says, "Your reliance on green chaos energy is making you extremely susceptible to their attacks. You need to get back to Promethea before you're till too weak. Tell Grace she needs to disrupt the chaotic." entanglement and realign the energy paths before never mind i'll tell her myself just a bunch of techno babble there uh from billy which i i thoroughly enjoy because i love music billy but the thing here is aisha hears him say it so now she knows partially where the green ranger came from and that and how the promethea got the green ranger coin and how um and how um billy betrayed them uh, from there, we get another betrayer uh, on the team, not, not of his own volition, but Adam shoots Tommy in the back, and you can see down here that his eyes are glowing with that green chaos energy, and he's seeing his uh, partners there as like these big putty monsters, and that's why uh, he's attacking them. Aisha asks for permission to handle this gently, and Tommy's like, if you think you can do it, go for it, girl. And by gently, she means kicking him straight up the side of the head, you know, as, as typical is uh, it is in you know comics or movies if someone's mind controlled just give them a good old hard reset whack them in the head really really hard and and that'll reset them and once they've got uh, Adam under control the Rangers jump out of there and Zed kind of wins the day you can see him laughing down here saying this is all going too perfectly now putty prime gather your horde it's time to take Angel Grove once and for all it never is once and for all anytime a villain says once and for for all it's never once and for all it never is <laughs> that it's to the point where that line kind of annoys me um, a little bit so uh, you can see here they take Adam to uh, the infirmary and then we get some conversations between Kim Tommy and Zordon uh, Kim says so those putties they're getting stronger or are we getting weaker and Zordon says judging from our readings they've been laced with chaos energy they're significantly more dangerous Tommy says we need to get back out there and Zordon says not until you're back at full strength, uh, presuming that they want uh, he wants Adam to be out there with them. And then uh, Alpha here says, I was finally able to trace the Green Ranger's teleportation uh, trajectory, and, uh, if, uh, and you'll never guess where it leads. And so here we have a confrontation between Grace and Zordon. Uh, as soon as his little... Um, hologram shows up grace is like well you are bound to find out sooner or later and he says grace starting listen to me very carefully the seductive nature of the dragon's power of the the dragon power coin is not lost on me i admit i uh even i do not fully understand its powers wait a minute you don't understand the dragon coin's powers completely hold the phone you don't understand them what I need the backstory on that. It's it's one of those things like I would I would love to dive into like the origin of the power coins and everything, and hopefully we get some of that over the course of this series since we seems like we're diving into it. But he, just he, he doesn't know himself. What? Come on, Zordon, you know better than this. He says I do know that it is extremely dangerous and should never be trifled with. Therefore, return it, and I will see that it is properly secured. And she's like, I can see from your blue or purplish hue that you're kind of pissed off. 
Uh, I'm sorry, she says. I believe that it's time humanity had a say in its own protection. Now you and I both want the same thing. To keep this planet safe from the inside out. And I like that line right there. I believe it's time that humanity had a say in its own protection. I think we can tell from the other uh, lines there in the uh, the other issues where the, the Guardians of Eltar are running around protecting planets for their inhabitants. Maybe we're going to see something there where maybe a planet rejects the guardianship of that planet. Maybe developing some parallels with this where Grace wants, to ha wants humanity to have a say over how the Power, power Rangers are run versus Zordon being in charge. Very interesting, just maybe something I'm picking up a little bit in there, but it would be very cool to see uh, if it played out that way. And then um, Zordon here says, um, once things calm down, you're going to return the coin, um, and if I have to do it, I'll do it by force. And Grace is like, um, open-minded as ever, Zordon, tell you what, when this is over, you and I can discuss things, and if you still feel like you need to send in the Rangers, then I wish them the best of luck. She's like, try it, bitch, let's do this, try it, you big floating blue head let's go oh, i love that character all right so there we we from there we catch up with bulk skull and candace and they are running through the streets of angel grove running away from the uh the chaos putties i love it skull actually tries to punch one good for you skull of course he gets immediately uh knocks the crap gets he just gets knocked out cold right there but candace jumps in and chucks a trash can at one of them and knocks that one away and then they're just kind of left there in the alley very curious to see where we're going with her being one of those guardians of eltar uh can't wait to see how how that plays out they're kind of slow burning some uh, some plot lines in this which kind of annoys me a little bit i want to know who the green ranger is but i also appreciate just the development of it we're not rushing anything we're taking our time with it so then we have Aisha confronting Billy, saying, I know, you know the Green Ranger. And he says, or she says, I saw you talking to him. And he's like, of course, I was trying to get him to our side. And she says, no, 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 that's bull. I know, you know him. She says, um, that's how Grace got the coin. You smuggled it out of the command center. How long have you been lying to us, Billy? So Billy has been found out. She says, fine, if you don't want to talk, maybe Zordon will. And he says, okay, okay, stop, just stop. I figured out a way to recharge the dragon power coin and yes i helped uh, prometheia create the green ranger but it's not what you think i swear and she says really because what i think is that you've known who the green ranger was this whole time and you've let us all freak out and he's like okay fine i kind of did but i promise i'm trying to help i was gonna try to tell i was gonna tell zordon i've tried dozens of times but i just need to do it on my terms i promise i'll fix this and that's when adam wakes up and they kind of have to end the conversation there uh and then the last couple pages here are uh, kind of the make my monster grow scene here uh, as you can usually expect in a Power Ranger story. The the putties uh, grow big and then the uh, pit rangers go back down there, call their zords and that's where we end this one. Hopefully issue 4 brings us more answers than questions but for now, uh, aside from who the Green Ranger is, I'm enjoying the question. So guys, that was my issue 3 of Mighty Morphin. What did you think of this one? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below as you guys usually do thank you guys so much for watching if it's your first time here at the channel and you enjoyed this video and you're not already subscribed do me a huge favor hit that subscribe button for me before you click away and until next time we'll see you at the comic shop